In this uh, tutorial, we're going to take a look at adding in transitions and special effects. They're fairly simple. They're simply a drag and drop feature, and you can do it in the expert or the quick mode. We'll stay at expert mode, but maybe we'll take a quick look at the quick mode to see what it looks like there as well. So what I have is transitions, and there's a whole host of different transitions you can apply. Um, we're going to just use some of these ones because they're fairly fun to do. But it just depends on your video. What do you want your video to end up looking like? Do you want the transitions to really stand out or do you want something simple, kind of like the Star Wars where you just have a slide up, a slide across, the transition between your clips. So basically how it works is you click on the transition that you want. You simply drag it and you drop it. You can place it to the left on just the one clip all the way to the right on the uh, other clip or you can put it halfway in between. Now once this window comes up I can choose how long I want it to play for. I'm going to keep it at one second because of a fairly short video and I can also put it on just the left or just the right clip or square in between. I also have more features here and they're basically just adjustments that I can do. And when I click on that, it opens up another menu and allows me to adjust the clip. Now, each one has a slightly different set of instructions, but basically I can change the start and end points. So, for example, um, if I slide that up, you can see it adjusts that start. So it's just going to have a slightly different look to it. And I can slide the end as well. I've got this plus minus. So I can end it there where it looks like a regular film video or I can end it there where you can still see the boxes. So it just depends on what it is you want it to look like. So I'm just going to leave it as is, I think. Maybe I'll start there. And it's only one second, so it's not going to be a huge change. I click on Done. There's my video clip. I do need to render it to process it. So I will click on the Render button. What it'll do is exactly play the movie. We'll jump right there. It's a very quick transition. So I'll add a couple more in. Let's do something fun like this. I'll just click done there and render. And I'm just going to go to a simple one here. I'll go to Iris and I'll drag in the Iris box one. And when I click on more, you can see there's a lot more controls down here. So I can change the border width. So I can increase that size. I can change the border color. I can choose to reverse, the, reverse it. And of course, I've got my sliders here. So I can start there or completely invisible. I can end there. You can see it adjusts kind of together. And I click done and render and it will apply that effect there. If you don't like it, you can double click on it, go to more, and since I actually want some sort of transition there, I'm going to change that down. So I'll click done, render, So those are fairly easy to drag in and adjust. And again, you've got a lot of different ones that you can drag in. You don't have to put one on every single one, but sometimes they're a lot of fun to put in. So I've got my fade. You can see actually the fade in, fade out line is there now. And so I'm not going to put any transitions there because it already has sort of a transition going on there. The next part we'll take a look at once the rendering is, done, is special effects. And so there's a whole bunch of them there. 
and they're really simple. They're just basically drag and drop it in. So if I want it to have sort of an old Charlie Chaplin, Buster Keaton feel to it, then old film would be one of the ones I could do. And that's simply a drag and drop on to your clip. Uh, so now what happens is if I've already done an adjustment here, you can see that it's going to remove them if I continue. So that's fine. I'll click yes and it will remove whatever I did for adjusting it because the two won't work together. So what I'm going to do is just drag them all on there. That one didn't need it. Yeah, we'll remove that one. So any of the increasing, decreasing lightness or color changes. will be there. So there's the look that I now have. And what I need to do, of course, is render that. But basically, okay, so there's lots in there, simple drag and drop, and then hit render, and it will, of course, play. So it's going to take a little bit of time for that to render, but only a minute or two. If you have a really, really large video, then it's going to take a long time to render it. So if you got like an hour long video and you do a whole bunch of work on it and then you render it, it could take even up to an hour or two to, to go through that process. So generally speaking, it's good to render things fairly quickly when you don't have a lot to do. But we can wait a few seconds for this. Once that's done, of course, it'll play and preview. Eight seconds left and it'll start from the beginning. So we have an old feel music to this from the Peter Gunn theme, theme from a long time ago. And now... So that's how transitions and special effects work. Next time we're going to take a look at adding in titles and text.